Even if you've never met Fred Wilson, there's a good chance you've been touched by his story. The last 10 years, really, uh, you know, unimaginable mm -hmm. is the word to describe it. Fred chose to focus on forgiveness and moving forward and helping others who might find themselves in his shoes someday. Mm -hmm. Fred is here with Samantha Pollard from American Red Cross Blood Services. Good thanks for stopping by. Good to Both see you, you again, yeah, we Fred. You so I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Yes, Fred, um, let's take us back to that day in 2007. It'll be almost 10 years. Um, one of the, you know, what Omahans would consider one of the darkest days in our history. Um, take us back to that day and that moment. Um, what happened? Well, it was a Wednesday and it was the holiday season and uh, people were out and about. Uh, President Bush had been in Omaha that morning, so the city was filled with extra security. And uh, a young man came into uh, the Von Mauer store and began shooting. And there were uh, eight people who died as a result of his acts. And uh, he eventually uh, took his own life. Uh, there were uh, two or three, three or four people who were injured as a result of the shootings. I was one of them. Uh, Mickey Oldham mm -hmm. uh, was another. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was uh, shot in the upper right arm, but uh, lived to tell, uh, to tell the story. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel strongly that uh, I lived because of the likes of the American Red Cross mm -hmm. and the fact that uh, there was blood there. Uh, it's been said that I had lost so much blood uh, as a result of the shooting that there was no more blood to bleed. Mm -hmm. So when I finally arrived at the uh, uh, med center, uh, I was infused with blood and uh, lived. I saved your life. Yes. What's remarkable, Fred, is that that wasn't you, the extent of your contact with the organization. 2013, another life-altering event that when we saw it in the news, we thought, how could this be for one man? How much can he bear? What happened then? Well, it was a Friday evening. It was June 28th, 2013. And uh, I had uh, dined with a church group that evening. And because we are of an age, we had dined early. And uh, I was back home uh, early on, 7, 7.15 that Friday evening. and. Uh, the building fire alarm went off. And uh, I had lived in that apartment for almost 24 years. Mm. And of course, in 24 years, we'd heard the alarm go off a very few times. And of course, it signaled uh, little over those years. But uh, this particular evening, it was serious. Um, I lived on the third floor. Someone on second floor uh, put a cigarette out in potting soil. And there are chemicals in potting soil, and it combusted. And uh, the building was on fire. And I left my apartment, never dreaming that I would not return. But I never returned to uh, my apartment. The building was completely destroyed, and we were never allowed to go back in. So one uh, lost uh, a lifetime of possessions. Mm -hmm. yeah. As is true of most people, I probably had too many things, but they were my things, and they were special to me, antiques that had been passed down from grandparents. And, uh, and uh, one cat uh, did not survive. Uh, one cat did, and she lives today mm -hmm. <laughs> to tell the tale. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, uh, that too was a life-altering uh, uh, experience, and the American Red Cross was there immediately. Mm. I was going to say, you made it out safely. Uh, in 2007, the Red Cross helped save your life. Um, and then just a couple years ago, they were there again. A in which ways did they help you in th at that point? I would say just the fact that uh, I'm big on uh, community and uh, we need one another to, mm -hmm. uh, to get through the day. We need that community. And of course, the American Red Cross, along with a multitude of other organizations, uh, contribute to that community feeling and, mm -hmm. and the needs that we have when, uh, when we're in, in trouble, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Samantha, uh, the Red Cross has an event coming in honor of Fred. We do. What's planned? So next Tuesday, April 4th, we are going to have a blood drive and home fire safety event, and that's going to take place at our Omaha chapter mm -hmm. on 80th and Center 
and at our Council Bluffs Blood Donation Center on 16th Street in Council Bluffs. Mm -hmm. And um, people can come in, donate blood in honor of Fred and other people who have needed blood in, in their lifetime. And as well as we will have volunteers on hand who will help draw out um, fire safety plans and escape plans for people's homes individually mm -hmm. while people wait to give. Yeah, we always want to find out what the need is right now because mm -hmm. you deal with this uh, year round. Right. Uh, so what is the current need? So right now we really need O negative and AB uh, type blood. Mm -hmm. Those are our biggest needs right now. But I'm A positive. Do you still want my blood? We would love your blood. Mm -hmm. Yes, we right. need all blood types at all times, but we especially need O negative and AB. Mm -hmm. the, uh, this is a milestone year for it our is. local chapter. Big birthday. It is. 100 years? 100 years. We're celebrating 100 years in Nebraska and Southwest Iowa mm -hmm. this year. And so you'll have drives happening throughout the year. Yes. But the reason you're here today and the reason we wanted to have them here <laughs> was, of course, to share Fred's story. Uh, but then to also make sure that you know what's happening next week. And there is there is something special that while supplies last, you'll have a couple of extras that you're giving yeah. out. What's on the line, Samantha? So um, for anybody who comes out to give that day, we are giving out stadium cushions. So it's almost baseball season. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I was say like football right. season football. too. Yeah. Hello, so when you're sitting one. at Memorial yeah. Stadium, those guys. Yeah. Yeah. So you can come uh, bring those, make yourself a little bit more comfortable at your kids' games th mm -hmm. this summer. And we're also giving out insulated uh, travel thermoses that have a little cup on the top. So. Mm -hmm. And we'll also have food for everybody. Yeah. I've heard rumors of pizza and cupcakes. Oh, so. we like rumors. those. Those are our kind of rumors. Well, <laughs> we it's, uh, it. it's a blood drive and home fire safety event in honor of Fred Wilson. Uh, Redcrossblood.org for more information. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Do you need to make an appointment because so often with your drives, you encourage it we in this case? We do appreciate appointments. You can go to redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make an appointment, but we okay. also accept walk-ins. Yeah. Fred, how are you doing today? I am doing well. I'm blessed beyond belief, mm -hmm. and I contribute uh, that, uh, that existence to uh, the likes of the American Red Cross mm -hmm. and the fact that uh, forgiveness contributes to one's being able to embrace the days. And uh, so I've um, intended to uh, promote uh, the mm -hmm. idea of forgiveness and uh, the fact that we really just have uh, this moment. There's mm -hmm. no guarantee that we have uh, tomorrow. Someone said there is no tomorrow, mm -hmm. only a string of todays. And I, mm -hmm. I, like, uh, I like that sentiment. And we need to, uh, to make the most of today. Good. And there may be changes in one's life that we're not expecting, but uh, if we're uh, strong enough, if we're courageous enough, it will be just fine. Good message, Thank Fred. you, Fred. Thank, Thank you, you for being Samantha. here. Samantha. Thank good you so much. It's good to see you. Um, I know. I wish we <laughs> Thanks, could visit Fred. all hour. I know. I and, well, it's the 10th anniversary coming up. We'll talk to you more in the year, Fred. Thanks a lot. Love Thank that. you so much. Uh, who puts